Welcome to another edition of Rust Rants. I'm John Rust, and I come on and go off about, well, whatever's honking me off today. Folks, I gotta tell you, I just don't know what is up with DC. These bozos just can't seem to get their excrement together when it comes to live action movies. You look at The Flash, that crashed and burned worse than The Hindenburg. Shazam! Fury of the Gods, underwhelming. Black Adam, that turned out to be a train wreck. Basically, they just keep churning out one turd after another. But, while that's the case for their live action stuff, they're still doing a pretty good job with their animated movies, and the latest one is a perfect example. And I'll tell you about that after this word from our sponsor, H2O Health and Water Solutions. Does your toilet have rings that always need cleaning? Do you have hard water spots on your shower doors? Calcium buildup on your faucets? Just imagine what all of that is doing to the inside of your washing machine, dishwasher, refrigerator, your hot water heater. What about the pipes inside of your body? Buy a filter or be a filter. You can have clean, mineral-rich water without the buildup of unwanted toxins in your body and throughout your whole home. Call Vicki Johnston today at H2O Health and Water Solutions at 928-899-7504 or you can stop in and see her at the Prescott Gateway Mall. So, Batman! The doom that came to Gotham just came out, and boy, oh boy, what an addition to an already long list of terrific DC animated movies. Now, for the casual DC fans out there, this would be what's referred to as an Elseworlds tale, kind of in the same vein as Gotham by Gaslight, which has Batman in the 19th century going after Jack the Ripper. By the way, that is another DC animated movie that I highly recommend you watch. So instead of the present day, the doom that came to Gotham is set during the early 1930s. And how many of you out there have ever wondered what would happen if you mixed a Batman story? with a story by H.P. Lovecraft. Well, you don't have to wonder anymore because you've got that with the doom that came to Gotham. And even though I'm not really up on Lovecraftian lore, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I like how they managed to take the Batman mythos that fans are familiar with and then twist it up into this really out of the world horror story and show how characters like Dick Grayson and Harvey Dent and even Oliver Queen, AKA the Green Arrow, would look and act in this kind of world. Uh, the story is what you would expect from this sort of genre where you have an elder god who's threatening to enter this world and lay waste to it. And then you have Batman who is trying to use his detective skills to solve what's going on and trying to apply rational thought to all the strangeness going on around him. But the deeper he gets into this situation, the more he starts to realize that he is facing something that is completely beyond his imagination, beyond any experience that he ever had. So the question becomes, how can Batman adapt to this situation and defeat this supernatural extra dimensional menace? Uh, they did a great job with the character development and the character arcs, the changes they made to the origins of Batman and the Green Arrow, I thought were really cool and really fit into the Lovecraftian atmosphere of this story. Uh, there were some surprising character deaths and a couple of really crazy twists to this story. Bottom line, the people who made this movie did something that really isn't easy. They put their own stamp onto these well-established characters, but at the same time, respected the lore that came before. So once again, DC's animated unit is picking up the slack left behind by their live action unit. And if you want a really good superhero movie, then check out Batman, the doom that came to Gotham. Couple things though before I go. One, this ain't a kid's movie. There are some pretty gruesome scenes in this thing. And two, the 1930s racing car style Batmobile is flippin' sweet. 
All right, folks, that'll do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Instagram, Twitter. Check us out on KYCA.info. Be sure to smash the like button, share this video, leave a comment on this video. We'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Till next time, I'm John Rust. I will see you soon.